Hi, welcome to a brand new vlog. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Diane. I'm an indie author. I have one book out currently, a little poetry collection called In the Interest of Letting Go. Links for that are down below if you wanna check it out. And I make videos about my life and my writing process and all that stuff here on YouTube and you're watching one of them. So subscribe if you like the vibe. So today's Tuesday, January 23rd. I've had a little bit of a busy morning. I kinda had some personal life stuff to get done, but that's all done now. It's about 12.45 and I need to get some work done today. Yesterday was a bit of a rough day emotionally, just like mood wise for me. Wasn't feeling all that great. I've been a little bit stressed. I've been a little bit stressed, you know, but I am feeling a lot better today And now that all of that morning stuff is kind of done with I can spend the rest of the day just working on Ben I'm still working toward getting to chapter 20 by February 12th. So that's that's about 20 days So let's talk a little bit about what's been going on with my book and my writing Okay, so I believe in the last vlog I had just finished chapter 8 So since then I have done a little bit more writing technically So I was working on chapter 9 and originally in my outline chapter 9 had two scenes and then chapter 10 had one scene but as I was kind of looking ahead to see you know what I would be writing next I realized that I was kind of I was missing a scene that I have in draft three and I don't know why I don't, I don't know if I accidentally left it out like just forgot to put it into my outline or if I had intentionally left it out I don't know why I would have because I feel like I feel like I still need that scene I feel like I, I need it's not it won't be very long but I feel like I need that scene in some capacity so I am gonna be adding that scene to my outline but now the way the way that I have chapters 9 and 10 broken up it doesn't really feel like if it, it feels a little weird the first and second scene in chapter 9 seemed fine but because I'm adding that third scene something about it felt weird so what I've decided to do because scene one of chapter 9 is just on its on its own almost 3,500 words because that's already such a chunky scene Scene, I feel like that's a good length for a chapter and it also it makes sense It makes sense for it to be its own chapter and then for chapter 10 to have Scene two and three of what was originally in chapter nine. So basically long story short I have added a, cha a Chapter I have added yet another chapter definitely breaking up chat like breaking up my chapters is d I, I obviously don't have a lot of experience doing that So I feel like even though I've done a lot of work to break them up in this new in this new way in this new outline for this draft, I feel like there's still gonna be quite a bit of tweaking to do. I feel like there's a lot of finessing that needs to be done. I'm definitely hoping to get some feedback from my editor about that. I think I think it's gonna be it's it's mainly a pacing issue, and I feel like I've I've definitely improved on the pacing issue in this draft with the way I've broken up the chapters. But I still think there's like a pacing and like a flow issue. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what my editor has to say about that. But basically, because I've added that chapter and I'm leaving that first scene of chapter nine just on its own as chapter 9. That means I'm done chapter 9. So I'm currently working on chapter 10. That's where we are starting in this vlog. So I'm just quickly gonna add the scene that I had just left out of this draft. I'm gonna add that in really quick, write a little summary. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is now go and rename. I have to change the number of all the remaining chapters, which will take me just a minute or two to fix that up. So yeah, my goal for today is to finish chapter 10. That would be lovely. The first scene of chapter 10, what was originally in this draft, supposed to be scene two of chapter nine. I have the third draft version on here. It's mostly staying the same. It's the same characters. It's the same location, but I'm adding in a little bit more dialogue, a, a bit more of a conversation about something and I'm actually gonna be taking a few things from a scene that was originally in chapter three in the third draft. So I'm gonna be taking some bits of dialogue from there and sprinkling it in here. I feel like this scene will take me a little bit because I am, you know, I am adding quite a bit and it's also, you know, there's some stuff that I need to figure out. So it's gonna be a little bit zero drafty in some sections, but I feel I feel pretty good about it. And then the second scene, which is the scene that I had just left out of this outline, is mostly, again, staying the same as the scene from the previous draft. So it'll be mainly a little bit of dialogue tweaking and then just obviously changing the tense. I'm gonna get myself situated, I'm gonna get myself comfortable, I'm gonna get something to drink because I am so thirsty. And then I'll do my first writing session of the day. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of back and forth between writing and video editing. I feel like that's my life and I love it so much. But I'm gonna get into my first writing session and I'm hoping to get at least most of the first scene in this chapter 
done. I didn't do any writing yesterday, which I'm a little bit bummed about because I was on a four day streak and I was about to beat my original four day streak and get a five day streak, but that didn't happen. So we're starting a new streak again today. And so because I didn't write yesterday, I needed to get 500 words yesterday to stay on track. And then I need 740 words today to stay on track. So I need to get at least 1240 words today to, you know, be caught up, but I'm hoping to get a lot more than that because as you know, I'm starting work soon and I really just want to get, I want to get through as much of this draft as possible. I'm so nervous about how little time and energy I'm gonna have for writing once I start working. The good thing is that I have three weeks of prep. So technically I'll be starting work on the 12th and they are gonna be long days or I feel like they're at least gonna be 12 hour days, but because they're not shooting days, they're still just like preparation days. They're not as crazy, they're not as exhausting. So I'm hoping to still get some words done during the week. I know that when I start shooting, I just, that's almost, that's nearly impossible. So if I can just get most of this draft done, that would be so good. And then I'd love to give myself as much time as possible in March to go over it again, because even though my editor is doing a developmental pass through it, I, I wanna give the draft to her as as clean as possible. I really don't want to distract her with glaring like grammatical issues or like, you know, tense. Uh, I'm worried about, I, I'm sure I'll have parts of the draft where I have like missed, you know, changing the tenses. So I, I really want to be able to look through it at least once before sending it off to her because I want to fix as many of, you know, the big glaring grammatical errors and stuff that might, you know, might get in the way of her looking at the big picture. I know for me, I am such a line level person in, so like any little line level thing will distract me. I just want to minimize that for her. So if I can do that, I will. But here we go. I'm going to fix these chapters and then get right into a writing session. <laughs> Okay, so it's much later, it's four o'clock right now, and I just wanted to do a quick little update because I have been working on Ben pretty much that entire time, but there was probably about 45 minutes altogether of like doom scrolling. I did also make a TikTok. I didn't post anything yet, but I just filmed a little something. Anyway, it was mostly focused on working on Ben. However, so I did go back into draft three and just pluck the little pieces from previous scenes that I want to add into this scene in chapter 10. So I did grab a bunch of stuff and copy and paste. So I did, technically I have added words to the document. However, I've not started looking through it. I haven't started, you know, adding what I need to add and changing the tense and all that. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Instead, what I did is I, because I have changed around some stuff since I've started writing this draft, my outline hasn't been fully updated. So I went back to my full story timeline outline and I fixed everything up to this point. Any change that I've made as far as chapters and timeline, whatnot, I have updated in this timeline, this draft. And while I was doing that, I also had to like, yeah, I changed the date of when it starts just so that it would make sense. I just went through it again and made sure that it still kind of made sense as far as, because they are on a road trip, I, I wanted to make sure that it made sense time-wise for them to be where they are, when they are, and how long it would take them to get from A to B. So I kind of went through that and it's feeling, I think it's all correct. I feel like there was a lot of like Google maps and like seeing how long it would take from one location to another. I did a whole bunch of that. I love this part. I love doing this. I could do this all day. <laughs> so I was doing that and because of fixing the timeline a bit more. The date of something that happens later on, it's it's meant to, it's supposed to fall on like a certain day. So I just made sure that it still all made sense. And I added the chapter that I had talked about earlier as well as I added one more chapter near the end. I basically just broke up a chapter into two chapters because I feel like they both just kind of needed their own space. It might change. It feels good right now, but it's still, like I mentioned, it's still, I think there's still gonna be a bit of tweaking as far as the way that I've broken up the chapters. So currently the new updated timeline outline is 40 chapters, plus the prologue and the epilogue, but we'll see about the prologue. Don't know if that's saying epilogue. I is staying. I 
I like I really want that blog to stay so we'll we'll see but yeah currently there are 40 chapters which feels I like I like round numbers I like that I think that's good and essentially getting to chapter 20 means that I'll be halfway through the draft it would be really awesome to get to the halfway point in this draft before I start work because then that gives me basically two months to finish the other half of the book so yeah we'll see I do plan on actually getting started now on the writing of this scene in chapter 10 this yeah this is gonna take a little while so if I can get this scene done today that's what I'm aiming for that is my goal for today at the very minimum right now Scrivener's saying that I've added 1590 words because I also added what I have so far for the next scene. I basically have the bones of chapter 10 in here and now I'm just gonna go through it and change it to present tense and just add in what I need to add, tweak what I need to tweak and yeah. I'm really glad that I took the time to go over my outline again. I love looking over my outline because it kind of grounds me, it makes me feel more organized and it also like just gets me excited, you know. It's like a mini version of the book and I can see it. I can see it in its entirety, you know, like I, I can see what the book will be like what it wants to be and that just really motivates me to work on it because I'm like look at it It's so cute. I want to like I want to finish it like I want to do it So yeah, I'm gonna get to work on this scene and then I'll update you when I've made some progress Hello, so it is the next day. It's about not it's about 10. I'm feeling a little rough today I got barely any sleep. I think I finally fell asleep around maybe 145 I had one of my usual nightly wake ups at around 245 and I then couldn't fall asleep until probably 6 a.m. And then I woke up at 8 because I was supposed to go to, I had an appointment this morning, but that was canceled. So that's great. And I thought maybe I can sleep a little more. You know, get a little bit more than just three hours of sleep. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. Sleep has just decided to leave me. And here we are. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to the grocery store because I am hungry. I'm out of my usual like morning things that I like to eat. I am feeling definitely physically, mentally a bit rough today, but I want to make the most of the day. I don't think I did an update last night, but I ended up adding 2,017 words. The manuscript is currently sitting at 29,202 words. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long, I feel like this could be a long draft. I'm aiming for 90k, but I don't know. Honestly, at this point, if I can at least get it to under 100k, even if it's just like one word under 100k, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that, but we'll see. I did not finish chapter 10. However, I did I did make a good amount of progress. I have less than half of the first scene of chapter 10 to finish. I started adding a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of conversation that I needed. So I basically need to finish zero drafting this new part of the scene. I'm not loving it. And I've like taken a conversation from a different scene and kind of added it in here, but then I took it out. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely spend a little bit more time on this scene a little bit later today and then I also just started um, editing through the second scene of this chapter and I definitely need to make some changes in this scene but I, I I don't I don't think it's gonna I think it's more cutting than like adding too much so that's what we're working on I really want to get through chapter 10 today chapter 11 is chapter 11 okay is one scene but it is kind of a a big scene and I think I'm gonna need to make some changes so that will take a while so I definitely won't be able to finish chapter 11 today but maybe I can finish chapter 10 and start chapter 11. I'm excited for a little bit later today because I have a call with Kayla, Kayla Kempers. I'll have her channel link down below. She's wonderful. She's also an author, an author tuber on here. So yeah that's around five. I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now. I think I don't know it's pretty it's quite like it's very foggy outside it's very very foggy i don't think i want to be outside any more than i need to so i'm just gonna go run that errand and then come back make food i do need to do some video editing but then most of the day i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do some ben work i'm gonna do i'm gonna do ben work hello so it's the next day it's january 25th it's about, it's almost noon. It's just before noon. I am in pain. I have my period today. I'm feeling very, very low energy. And I just wanna spend the day at home working on the stuff that I wanna work on. So as far as yesterday, I, I I gotta say, I didn't really, I didn't really do much. I can't tell you what I spent most of the 
stay doing. I was definitely, like I did a little bit of stuff. I did update a few things on Amazon, like KDP. I updated the description of In the Interest of Letting Go and I updated my like author bio thing. I, it's like, it was a minor tweaks, but I had been meaning to do that for a while. So I did that. And then in the evening, I did have a phone call with Kayla. So I was chatting with Kayla for a while and that was lovely. It felt really good to catch up with her and chat with her. And then honestly, I think because I had barely gotten three hours of sleep before that, I was just kind of out of it yesterday. And I did end up going in, like I got into bed pretty early. I did bring my laptop into bed. I wasn't gonna work on Ben. I had, so I hadn't done any writing before I got into bed and then I brought my laptop and I was like, you know what? I don't wanna lose my streak. Let me just edit a few words. Like let me get a few sentences edited and maybe add some stuff, like whatever. Let me just work on it for five minutes at least so I don't lose my streak. So I did that and I ended up adding, I think like 29 words or something like that. Yeah, I did that just to, you know, not break my habit and not break my streak of working on Ben. Today my goal is mainly to just make myself as comfortable as possible. Take it easy, but also I need to get a video edit finished and I will absolutely, I'm finishing chapter 10 of Ben today. I'm pretty damn close. I just need like a good solid writing session and I should be able to hammer that up, get it done, move on. Yeah, today's kind of a very low energy, low key day. Hi, so it's been a few days. I'm coming on here because I realized I did not close off this vlog. Today's Tuesday, January 30th. It's about 2.45 p.m. I, so to get you all caught up, I'm currently on chapter 13 of Ben, which is very exciting. I'm really just trying to get through this draft. I'll talk a little bit more about things in my next vlog, but I do wanna get this vlog out as soon as possible because I do have another one going up very soon where I kind of take myself on a little author date. I do some writing in a library. I loved it, it was amazing, and I'm excited for you to see that video. So I just wanted to close off this vlog. I have been making pretty good progress with Ben. I'm feeling pretty good. Chapter 12 definitely went pretty well. There's some stuff I wanna change, but what else is new? I'm definitely gonna make some changes after this draft. But yeah, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I did, I didn't have the best night of sleep, and. I had an appointment this morning and I'm just kind of feeling tired and lethargic, but I do want to get some writing done. Today's mainly going to consist of some Ben writing and a lot of video editing, so I'm going to get to it. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your January went. Let me know what you're writing, what you're reading, what you're watching, all of that stuff. But thank you so much for watching and if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stable, because you are cool.